Uh, hello, good viewing event. I didn't mean to go here, but I might. Uh, I, I, I haven't done any of these yet, Welcome but mine's well to swimmer's to beach. You have four fun credits left on your card, by the way. Now, get the swimmer to the beach. Okay. Move the swimmer on the right. Move the swimmer. Or on the obstacle in the swimmer's way. Okay, vertical objects moving down. Makes sense. Bless, excuse me. Thank you. Keep an eye on the weather forecast on the right. If you don't reach the beach by the time the forecast says hurricane, you lose. Okay. I made a token. No, oh, easy? Wow. Alright. Just uh, get. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, it's just like the. Um, uh, the one for the, the puzzle behind the. Uh, the towel puzzle behind the. Um, uh, yeah. The, the, the bar thing. Yeah, I know you're right. right. Yeah. Okay, so enough. Uh, oh, I gotta pull the screen down too. Doctor pressing the top one there. They're like tokens that you can win, like different ones from each game. Maybe. Okay. Lucky you! You're about to play Squintos! By the way, you have three fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop! Mm hmm. Uh, I guess. Start with. Try it and see where, how far it actually. Okay. How do I get another shot? No. Okay. Fine. Jeez. One. Time to play squid toss. In case you were wondering, you have two fun oh, credits left on your shot, car. Huh? Yeah. Catapult the right. squid through the hoop. That seems good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, alright. Uh, uh, I don't know if you need... It looks pretty far oh, away. No. I think Dolphin would probably do it. Well, alright, if you're sure. Yeah, okay. Wait. Wait. Hold on, what? I, I was too far. I'm like, the, the, I ate Oh, you gotta... <laughs> Fine, fine. Ahoy, matey! Welcome to the squid toss. After this, you'll just have one fun credit left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Alright, easy. Alright, dolphin. I guess only one. Yeah, because you went like to the side of it, right? Yeah. That one's probably whale. Yeah. You think only one or you think two? I think one. Because it looks to be kind of just above from the previous one. Yeah. Nice. All right. Okay, so they're independent tokens. Okay. Well. Okay. So. Ah, uh, so you need. Oh. A screwdriver. Oh, some sort of. Prize, a, a, a little like extendo thing of some sort. Okay. okay. Sure. Can you turn? Oh, you, no, you need that for the uh, um, harmonica thing. So, uh, in order to get that last token, I need to repair the. Uh, so, I need. For which one? The. Uh, this. Oh, the yellow one. Win. Wait. The shark head thing, I guess, for the shark? Let's well. Say. It says level 1 win, and then level 2 win. So there's two different tokens in this machine. I see. Okay. So you need those ones to get the shark in with the boat, I guess? It's kind of hard to tell what the other one is. Harmonica, I think. Well, the boat's also got the same... So. Well, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, I can't really get anything else with the current tokens I have. Mm -hmm. Alright, well... 
All right, so uh, I guess to the haunted house, maybe since we've taken a look at the carousel. Yeah, we haven't been here yet. And the roller coaster. It's locked. Okay, well, let me get my employee thing. Odd sounds from below. We haven't saved yet. We should probably do that now before we like fall and die and have to reload. Yeah. What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from below. Fall through, crash, die. Oh, hey, look, a keyboard. Oh, well, there it is. Interesting. What is that thing? Uh, it looks like it may be like a employee costume to wear in a haunted house that like scare people. Because it's a haunted house, you know, mm -hmm. like you got you got those people. Well, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like a a mask and suit or like an uh, animatronic thing. Hmm. Actually, it might be an animatronic now that you mention it. Because it looks like they have wires or something sticking out of it. It appears to be kind of like a, a like a base pole for the torso to sit on. Yeah. Uh, hold up for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and. Why did you say carousel? And that's just how it would automatically be there. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to look like it's missing an arm. Yeah. An old radiator. Okay. I guess that was the old noise. No, I don't know. I didn't hear what the odd noise it sounded like, so if it sounded like steam hissing or something, then probably, but if not, then I don't know. Hmm. Well, I don't think I can really do anything here. Oops, I didn't mean to go here. Wait, actually, now that it seems like the things are on now, right? Hmm. So I should be able to use these. This takes an employee access card. Yeah, now I can open them. Oh, okay. Guess I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. Do not touch anything in here without asking for us or else, Tink. <laughs> This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. Well, I probably shouldn't touch anything. Yeah, as he said. This is where the air comes out. I didn't realize it was actual pipes. Something's missing here. Something's missing here. Hmm. So, what does... Roll mean CD, I guess, plays the track uh, for some reason, but I don't know. Well, I'm inside the carousel. Uh oh, well, I don't know the kit, the, 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 the lock. Yeah. Uh, oh. <sighs> Time to start crawling. Time to start saving. This goes to the space underneath the carousel. Can you caution me on this point. I wonder what that is. Receiving signal. Interesting. Those definitely sound There's like some uh... up there. Looks like a letter. Oh, there sure is. Huh. I can't reach it. Maybe I can with this, though. Ha ha! <laughs> okay. The ballroom? That's what was converted into the haunted house. My dear Similia, the work goes slowly, but it goes. I just completed my fifth house, my favorite so far. I call him Foxfire, which is a phosphorescent fungus that grows on rotting wood. I always thought fondly of that name. Every night, the mu every night, music plays in the ballroom of my workshop. Every night, a hundred feet scamper back and forth overhead. When I complained to M Mr. Rousseau, he said it's that if I worked in the daytime, everyone else, uh, like everyone else, there'd be no music to bother me. He doesn't understand that I can only work when the world is as I feel. Dark, dangerous, and unknowable. But you understand, my darling wife, that you're the only person on Earth who has ever understood everything that can be understood about me, and I miss you terribly. Kessler's workshop would have been under what's now the haunted house. I wonder if it's still there. The radiator still stands guard outside, my door to the workshop, as cold and heavy as my heart, awaiting your return. You must come back to me, Amelia. 
Your father was loath to give me uh, your address. I promised him things that will, will be better, and I promise you, if when you return, but what if you don't read this? What if it never... What if it comes back unopened? Or worse, what if it never comes back, and neither do you? Your rejection would be unbearable. Perhaps I am, shall mail this letter about tomorrow, but know that I cannot mail it today, my beloved. I don't have the courage. I cannot take the risk. I love you too much. Yours alone forever, Rolf. Okay. <laughs> kind of a strange letter, but all right. Got everything in here? Guess so. All right, so which of one of them is actually like the descendant of a uh, Kessler or whatever? Right. And is also, I guess, like a jewel thief or whatever and trying to, you know, pull some sort of weird heist thing. Oh, you know what? I never did ride the, ro- ride the carousel. I do have one token left. Welcome to the carousel. Uh-oh. You're using your last fun credit, so I'm keeping your card. But it's okay. Just get a new one. Mount up, mateys. Time to get another card from Harlan. The carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw! Try for the brass ring. Wow. It's as boring as actually being on the carousel. Get ready. Who got it? Okay, well, I got the brass ring. Cool. Another one? Did I die? I don't think so. I hope not. You just fell off a horse in a... I fell off the carousel. I was trying to grab the brass ring and reach too far. You were what? It's kind of a long story. Uh Uh-oh. I have to hang up now. They want to x-ray my head. I should probably come down there and have my head examined, too. What was I thinking, asking you to play detective? Well, I know what I'm thinking now. You're off the case. Is that game over? Yes. Oh. The carousel will be starting in three seconds. Okay. So, hang on so I guess don't, don't grab as many times. Ring. Don't don't click too early. Yeah. I think that was what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm still trying to figure out how is going like this gonna cause it to fall off. I don't know. Also, the next one looked like it was silver, not brass, which is kind of interesting. Well, let's see if I can get it again. Here it comes again. I missed it. What the hell? Maybe I only need the one. Maybe, the rest. Maybe I don't know. Wow. That exit animation, though. Mm. The carousel will be starting. Chris stuff. Yeah. Hang on. I did a second chance, so I can try to get it again. Yeehaw! 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 Here comes the brass ring. Get ready. Got it. Okay. Y'all here. What a is exactly how to describe this carousel. Way eh. Way eh. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? I, I feel like I should have gotten it. But you missed. Ah. Uh, maybe I really only do need one. I don't know. I don't know, but let me give it another fun pass. Hey, Nancy, what's up? The card reader outside the roller coaster doesn't work. It's got this red tag on it. Means the power's been shut off. Ingrid must be working on it. Go talk to her. She probably took a break to go meditate and forgot what she was doing. Does that sort of thing happen a lot with her? Oh, yeah. And good luck finding her. These mind relaxation breaks of hers sometimes last for hours. I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. Any idea why he's so far behind? He's a procrastinator. Doesn't really like to work, so he does whatever he can to avoid it. Puts things off to the last minute. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. Well, I try. 
Has he always been behind? I guess he was doing okay up until about a month ago. Way I hear it, if he doesn't get caught up like fast, he's gonna be waving bye-bye like soon. I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by the guy who carved all the horses, Rolf Kessler. Is it okay if I keep it? As far as I'm concerned, I'll mention it to Miss Santos, see what she says. I found some kind of electronic device under the carousel. I'm pretty sure someone has been turning the carousel on and off at night by remote control. Why would somebody want to do that? Whatever you found was probably just some kind of toy that fell out of some kid's pocket. Underneath the carousel? I don't know I mean, that. If it was a small enough device, you know, probably could have like fallen down and bounced underneath it and whatnot. That's a relatively common occurrence. But you saw it like it was like a kind of thick, wasn't it? I I, I not, can't look at it right now because I can't access my inventory. But I seem to have used up all the fun on my fun pass. Did you say I could get another one? I certainly did. Here you go. Enjoy. May I see that? Oh wait, I don't need that. Haunting oh, again? Well. I got the tape right here, all queued up. I love how excited he is. I know, <laughs> he but just... he always says the same line. Yeah. I don't even see where the one is missing. I'll see you around. Sounds good. Either. Anyway, this is a. Uh... Did you skip through the rest of that tape, or did no, it just... No, it, it automatically... Why doesn't it play all the way till the end? I don't know. Seems a little weird. Um, I guess we just talk to people for now. Hello, Nancy. Still on the case, I see. I'd like to take a closer look at the roller coaster, but the access card reader has been red-tagged. Helen says it's because you're working on it. Right. Oh, shit, I didn't I to go. I was in the process of upgrading yeah, its main... it's only almost board. one. I'm afraid well, you even so, if I finish. need to be back in the morning or whatnot. Unless well, you like yeah. to do it Well, you said you could stay till 2, didn't you? I mean, yeah. Well, do you want to wrap up after this episode? We're like 17 minutes in. Mm. So we could probably do the rest of this episode and then call it. Uh. I'm game, but needless to say, I've never done it before. It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the new macro resistor. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. You'll need to solder it in place, which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from Elliot Chen. When you're all done, remove the red tag and take it to Harlan. That way, he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you going to answer it? No, that would be rude. I'll just call them back. So, once you get that hmm. tool from Elliot, you should be all set. I found something underneath the carousel that looks Random. like it might be a remote control Ooh. device. Oh, I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. Did you know that the man who carved the carousel horses had a workshop under what's now the haunted house? How appropriate, considering Kessler's belief in the supernatural and all. I heard some strange sounds the last time I was in there. They seem to be coming from below. That's odd. I've been doing a lot of work in there lately, and I haven't heard any strange noises. So either your ears are better than mine, or your imagination is. Oh, Thanks yeah, for thanks. your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess. All right. So I gotta get a thing from Elliot. Let's see. You're a procrastinator's dream. Know that? Come in. Ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. Okay, so now he wants me here. Before, you said the horse that was stolen off the carousel was junk. But Ingrid said that carousel horses can be very valuable. Well, when they're the original horses, they can be valuable, yes. But I was talking about the one that was stolen. It was not an original. Around no. 18, 20 hmm. years ago, somebody bought one of the horses off the carousel. The guy who owned the park back then commissioned some hack to replace it. And that's the horse that was stolen. The replacement? Right. Interesting. Uh, what are the odds of that? Interesting. Why? Yeah. Why? Who buys one horse off a carousel? I don't know. Especially one that appears to still be running in, in operation of part mm. of a complete set. Right. That's not something that people do, I wouldn't imagine. It doesn't 
Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. Ingrid said you have her soldering gun. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not like you, a, but that's okay. you know, a you bet. Carney or been meaning to return called. it to her, but, but I've been a little busy. Yeah. Great. Thanks. I'll let you get back to work. If you must. Well, I guess I can fix things now. Uh, let's try to fix this, uh, thing. Cause I have the keyboard. Oh yeah, that's right. And you need your employee access card. Yeah, and the keyboard. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh Okay. It's going to be zero, one, or two, right? So, uh, I guess one. Wow, shit. I don't think it, I think, like, uh, oh, wait. Super to the upgrade function of my internet hosting. Zero number is a parameter. Ping. Uh, oh, okay. So we gotta find out what the uh, upgrade function thing is called. Well, how do we figure that out? That's a good question. Well, looks like we can't do this yet then. Because we need more. Oh. Oh. Well, okay. Yeah, there you go. So super. Blast, I guess, or Super Barnacle? It's Barnacle Blast. You're only well, yeah, but it's going to have Super in front of it. It's part of the function thing, right? Does it? That's what it looked like it's in. On the little feeder thing. Yeah, so KM5200. KM5200? That's the single number, yeah. Um, this can be done by simply adding the word Super to the upgrade function and by entering the Chromaster arcade game serial number as the parameter. Upgrade function was called ping. Yeah, so. Okay, so. Which I'm assuming ping is probably like a parody of Pong or something. Maybe. So. To up the game, change functions. Okay, so. Super article? Uh. Yes. Yeah, super barnacle blast. And then the, the number for the. Uh, enter? Yeah, okay. So if you lose it, it's Hello Computer, well, not Hello Computer, no, this is continuation. continuation of the same episode, so when we put in the 5... For uh, the KM5200 for the arcade uh, upgrade thing. To, to, to get this arcade thing working, the one that we're playing currently, the breakout. He forgot to put... I, I was using the numpad, which is happens to be the same thing that I used to record. I pressed 5 on the numpad, so when I put in the, uh, when I put in the numbers, it also stopped the recording. <laughs> Yeah. Oops, but you didn't miss anything. Literally, we've just been doing breakouts this entire time. The only thing you missed was the first level, which is a little bit easier, but I mean... Well, this is the first level. It is? Yeah. I, uh, I have to do them both again, remember? So we got the harmonica from the vending machine, but we have to play this game again to get the other two tokens to get the other two prizes. Oh, uh, yeah. I wonder if there's another, like, different set of tokens for the hard level. No, there's not. Which is why I'm not playing it on hard. Oh. I don't need to. Why not? Don't you like the challenge or... See? Never mind. I guess you can't even handle it. Okay, uh, like I was saying while it wasn't recording, the controls aren't that intuitive. I wish I could control it with a mouse instead of the uh, arrow keys. So I could just drag it wherever I need it to go. I don't understand why you have such a problem with the keyboard. It's, it's because it, it, it snaps, right? Like... I, I don't have as much control over the paddle as I, I would if it were with a mouse. I mean, 
Yeah, but I would assume in a like if I if I an arcade game like this on a pier or something, you'd probably use a joystick, which is uh, yeah closer and used to a. It's just that like you, you see how it like kind of slides and snaps, and I'm like just kind of tapping it. I mean, yeah. If I'm like even slightly off, it will miss, and then I I I, I won't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll stop where I think I, I need to you, stop. I hear you, but also, counter-argument, uh, get good. Okay. Baby, I can't- can you get her off? She's looking at my plate. No! You lost? I blame that on Eagle. Fair. I don't even know what happened to the ball there. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Okay, I'll take it, I guess. <sighs> Gameplay. Gameplay. I want to point out, it seems like for whatever strange reason, every third barnacle or whatever you hit makes that ka noise for yeah. like no reason. I don't know, maybe it's like a combo thing. Except even when it's not like in Super Riper Suggestion, or su <sighs> uh, Succession, it still makes that sound. Yeah, I don't know. Well, whatever. It's right a way. cheap carnival game, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Be grateful you didn't have to see me play that whole thing because of the recording <laughs> stopped. I equally find it interesting. Oh. But yeah, I equally find it interesting that uh Okay, so we have all the prizes now. Hmm. Alright, cool. What we can do with them. They're probably going to be important to some extent later. Probably. And if not, maybe we'll get to see them as like little souvenirs of like future fancy Drew games. Yeah. Maybe they're like on her desk or scattered about as she's uh, writing to somebody. Oh, shoot. You got the soldering gun, right? I do. And I also have this. I don't know. Oh, okay. Just put there. Like that, I guess. And now you gotta. Where is the soldering? There it is. Okay. Okay. Is that it? I think you also gotta get these two over here. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Um, that looks like it. Put the gun gun flip on. Uh oh! According to Ingrid, you not only fried that particular card reader, but you short circuited the entire system. She says it'll take days to repair the damage, maybe even weeks. Oops, guess they really blew it. <laughs> As really? Mother, I'm not in the mood for lame jokes, Nancy. Nor am I in the mood for paying for any more of your mistakes. So guess what? You're off the case. Well, wow. Okay. So I did that wrong. Well, so you gotta make it so that the resistors all, like, light up, right? Because they only need... Circus. Yeah. Uh, first color, second color, third color, the tolerance on the what, back end, I guess it looks like. Uh, Daniel Honeywell values. So, call these resistors 5, 10, which is what? No lights on, it looks like? Yeah. Well, there's that brown one. Huh? There's a brown. Is it on? Or is it... It's like brown. Well, it looks like it... Oh, okay. I see. So the green, black, and yellow one is 5. The brown and black and black is 10. The orange and black, black and black, black is 30. 30. And the brown, black, brown is 100. Okay. So... In series, or in parallel... Uh... Okay, are they... Okay. So this one over here on the end is supposed to give us five, right? What does that mean? Like, well, how much do we need in total? Do we know? 
Oh, I'm gonna unsolderize them all. Hmm. What does it say again? Uh, it has to be 15. Macro resistor rate of 5 points of resistance. So we need 10 to get it to, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so. Which means that they're, what? Brown, black, black, which means their tens are, aren't they? So do we only need to solder one in? And the other one's just kind of there? I don't know, that makes sense, but it. I, I, I don't know. Uh. Okay. That's not right. Well, I didn't game give, give me a game over at least. Yeah. Well, I mean. Hmm. Well, you didn't hook up the other resistor as well. This one? Yeah. And uh, I think I also need to hook up right. that bit there and that bit so it actually connect to that one plug there. There, that looks right. Okay, so I just had to ignore that one. Okay, well. Okay. Hooray! It's now we locked. Can use it, right? Well, I have to take it to uh, this guy and say I fixed it. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you turn the power back on to the card reader outside the roller coaster? It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You bet. I'll just switch the circuit back on and you'll be all set. Ingrid said you told her that you were a bouncer before you came to work here. In Trenton, not Flemington. Uh, right. I was. For a while. I've held almost every guard-type job there is. Lived in a lot of different places, too. Trenton, Jersey City, Flemington, Cape May. Uh-huh. I'll see you around. Have fun. Hey, Nancy, what's accent, up? Right? I'll see you around. Have fun. Crazy. Yeah, he does kind of. Is that a Jersey accent? I don't is know. Is the question. Very good question. Because I'm starting to have more suspicions about the night guard now. Yeah, let's talk to people. Why not? Hello, Nancy. Mm -hmm. How goes it? Thanks for your help. You bet. What about you? Alright, break time! You sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? As long as you're here, I have a legitimate reason for not working. I don't mind one iota. I'll let you get back to work. Strange. Strange. He was like really adamant about working earlier. Right. Well, I think yeah. I, I think Mr. It, don't disturb me. I think it was just because I, I dropped the paint. Oh, well. Hmm. Well, is Joy back? Yeah. Yes. I really do need to get this work done. R right. Sorry. That's unfortunate. Can't talk to that thing while she's here. That's weird. Yeah. Also, the fact that it was talking and she wasn't in the room makes me think that if she put it together herself or something, because it looks like it's homemade, mm. she has some sort of knowledge of electrical engineering, meaning she could be the one tampering with all the ride park, park rides. That's possible, yeah. <laughs> well, Mr. Hardy Brothers and Cousins. Detective Paris, please. Oh, oh. I just said the first one that was there. Hi, Nancy. Nothing new at this end. What have you got? I found out that the horse that was stolen off the carousel wasn't even on the carousel when Dunning pulled that robbery. It replaced the original horse 20 years ago. No kidding. That means if Dunning did hide jewels in the horse that was there 23 years ago, whoever's after him didn't find him. Which means that the person could still be hanging around trying to figure out what to do next, or maybe the roller coaster was sabotaged. Maybe whoever stole the horse wanted to shut the park down to make searching for the jewels easier. Oh... Uh... I mean, yeah, I guess that makes Maybe some the sense. Roller coaster was sabotaged. Pretty proof, though. Maybe mm. whoever stole the horse wanted to shut the park down to make searching for the jewels easier. Sounds like you better stay on your toes, young lady. How much do you know about Daryl Trent? You know, the guy who used to be the co-owner of Captain's Cove, Paula's former business partner? I met him a couple of times. He's a real friendly guy. Young at heart, more of a kid than most kids. I kind of think that's what killed him, you know? His body. Did you ever meet his daughter? I didn't even know she existed until Paula mentioned she hired her. Who? Um, Joy. Thanks, oh. Detective. You've been a big help. Hey, hmm. say hi to Paula for me. Alright, so Captain Cove Police. Here's some suspicious. Hello? Hey, Joe, it's Nancy. Frank, phone. It's 
it's Nancy. How's it going? Well, I haven't solved the case yet. Great. Uh, I mean, oh, no, what a shame. Hi, Nancy. What's up? Apparently, one of the people who was on the roller coaster when it suddenly stopped is claiming that his neck got injured and has filed a lawsuit. Well, boys and girls, can you say insurance fraud? What if someone is making up a false claim? What if that was his plan all along? And what if someone in the park is in on the scheme with him? That mm. person causes the accident, the guy sues, they split the settlement. New word, boys and girls. Can you say motive? Did I tell you that there may have been jewels stashed in the horse that was stolen off the carousel? The one that started this whole curse thing? Why would somebody stash jewels in a carousel horse? Because he'd just stolen them and was trying to escape from the police. Then you've got a problem, Nancy. That means the perp is long gone. Maybe not. It turns out that the horse that was stolen wasn't on the carousel back when the jewels were stolen. Then you've still got a problem. You've got a perp who didn't find the jewels and is probably a little ticked off. Can we get a game with the Hardy Boys already? Suspect? Great. I mean, there is one, well, technically. Well, there is only the one, though. Guard what? One who's as far as I can tell, yeah. Told you about. Why? I don't know. For what console? Segment. PC? Uh, let me look it up again. Because I need that on Steam. Especially if we're going to be hanging around and talking to them quite significantly. Also, where's Ned? I want to talk yeah, to my boyfriend, damn it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, there's two Hardy Boys games. Oh. But they're not cool. on Steam. Of course. They're on PC, though. Like, disc PC oh. games. Because they're old. Huh. Gotcha. I mean, these Nancy Drew games also used to be on discs, but then eventually came to Steam. Right. Joy the bookkeeper. She seems very unstable. Mentally or emotionally? Both. Definite suspect. There's something going on with Ingrid the engineer that I can't quite figure out. What makes you say that? For one thing, she didn't like it one bit when I asked to see the blueprints of the roller coaster, which are strangely unavailable. I've always found it difficult to trust someone who has an engineering degree. Why? They think they know everything. They're dangerous. Plus, they make me feel stupid. Ah. I got the feeling that Elliot <laughs> and Ardrick was stupid. lying when he tried well, to tell me that Carousel Joe, horses were unfortunately, that's not particularly hard. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what makes me wonder about him. Keep an eye on him. That's all you can do. I got the feeling that Elliot, the art director, was lying when he tried to tell me that carousel horses weren't valuable. Why would he lie about a thing like that? That's exactly what makes me wonder about him. Keep an eye on him. That's all you can do. Wait, why am I able to say this again? I got the feeling that Elliot, the art director, was lying when he tried to tell me that carousel horses weren't valuable. Why would he lie about why? a thing like that? Why? That's exactly what Try makes me one. wonder about computer. him. Keep an eye on it's him. It's just weird that they would let me say it twice. I got busted while or snooping in Joy's times. office by a talking computer. Her computer talks? It's not her computer. It's this weird-looking thing. It's like somebody threw a bunch of junk together and somehow programmed it to see, hear, and speak. Where do you think it came from? <laughs> That's well, a company that doesn't exist anymore. Right. Right. That's for sure. I had a talking computer once. Remember, Frank? That wasn't a computer. It was a plastic keyboard with a tape player inside, which you never should have left on the stairs for somebody to accidentally step on. Bigfoot. Joe. I better get going. See ya, Nance. Don't take any wooden nickels. What does that mean? I don't know. Home? Is anyone going to pick up home? No! Hi. No one can no. take your call right okay, now I... except Togo. And since he's forbidden to answer the phone because he gets slow... Nancy, you don't have to listen to your own voicemail. You're going you to can, have to you just hang up. Here's a question. Why does Nancy have a dog and she named it Togo? I don't know. Not Toga? Which has already had Hello? multiple, like, Hi, kind of weird Greek-based, like, adventures. Or Toto, based on the Wizard of Oz. Nancy feel terrible. Maybe I should answer the phone or from now on. Or even Togo. You wouldn't dare. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Guys, I understand. I'm sorry, Nancy. As you may have guessed, Matt hasn't called yet, and he's just so cute. Anyway, what's up? I met the security guard, Harlan Bishop. Nice guy. Except when I asked him where he worked before. He seemed kind of evasive. Is he cute? Yes. What difference does that make? Ugly people have chips on their shoulders and are more likely to commit crimes, George. Wow. I read that somewhere. Okay. Either read it or saw it on Oprah. I don't think you saw it on Oprah. And I don't think whatever you read is uh, about that. Well, necessarily that's correct that's either. Mm. But if he was evasive, I mean, look at, we know what that Look means, at uh, Quasimodo. Not a particularly uh, attractive guy by the conventional standard, but a nice guy. And plus, aren't the serial killers usually like 
well, somewhat handsome. Best, Ingrid Corey is a she See, that's what people cool. keep saying she is that apparently that. like Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer or whatnot were these like super charismatic, majorly handsome. I never like... even said charismatic, but I I don't know. Well, that's the whole thing. That that's the big like stereotype around them. But I don't. But they're not, like not really. You ever seen a picture of Ted Bundy? No, I don't think I have. <laughs> not a particularly attractive guy on his own. All right. So, and I'm not buying the whole charismatic thing either. Guy's a serial killer. How? Yeah. I don't charismatic know. could he really Seems be? To. Although she oh, doesn't wait. seem to know what I, I mean, the, the, that's like those people who claim that, you know, uh, Hitler was a, a really charismatic speaker or whatnot. I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you got to be at least somewhat involved with the idea that he's talking about if you're really going to yeah. you know, jump on board a train like that. Right. That is like the hottest car ever. One of the most expensive, that's for sure. She must make a ton of money. Either that or she's about to come into a ton of money. Engine oil thickens. Joy that's not a saying. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Sees, yeah. Hears, talks, and interrupts people when they're snooping. And you, of course, were snooping. Well, that's our girl. Why does she have such a sophisticated <laughs> computer? This thing is not that sophisticated. In fact, it looks like it was made out of spare parts. Do you think Joy made it? I doubt it. Well, the next time it catches you snooping, just smile sweetly, then rip its little plug right out of the wall. I finally met the park's <laughs> I mean, art director. Yeah, really yeah why didn't you just do that he previously? Kind of right. Foot. But he's real friendly to me now. But is he too friendly? That's the question. Yeah, maybe he's trying to... Oh, so it's a little robot. What is it going to do to stop you? Yeah, it's going to record you, but if you're going to go in there and snoop around, because it's your job, you just do your job and then yeah. leave. Actually, I think he's Tell whoever, you know, not to work. Joy, I guess, Apparently, or whatever, sorry for the inconvenience, but way you know schedule. what? I gotta investigate. Of course, now yeah. The park is shut down. He can catch up, which means maybe he had something to do with the accident that shut it down. Which means we've got two words for him, don't we, Bess? Suspect list. I found a very <laughs> odd looking device under the carousel. I'm willing to bet that it's the reason the carousel seems to be turning on and off by itself. So whoever put it there must know a lot about electronics. Like that chief engineer person, maybe? She'd be my next stop. I found a letter written by Rolf Kessler to his wife, Amelia. It was hidden inside the carousel. A hidden love letter? That's so romantic. Oh, my what gosh. Right. Well, apparently Bess, she's left I, him, and he was begging her I to I imagine you're probably around Nancy's Wait, age, right? About 19, 18, her, probably. Right? Or at least high school. Yeah. Himself. Go because to school, get yourself a nice, like, that she'd reject him. I don't know, so jock or nerd guy or whatever in school, and just lay off. Send it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, she did. Get laid and lay off the rest. Well, she's trying, she's trying to get a call from this Matt guy, right? Right, right. In the letter, I hope that Matt is actually, like, under the ballroom, which is now the worth her time. Yeah. You know? The workshop is still there? You can bet I'm going to look. Maybe Kessler's still there, too. Maybe he's like the phantom of the amusement park. A hundred year old phantom? I'm sure, Beth. I showed Ingrid the device I found. Okay, stranger under things the have happened. So what'd she say? Yeah. She didn't recognize it, but she did want to keep it. I wouldn't let her. We've said it before and we'll say it again. Suspect list. So at least okay, so I wanna say, for this game at least, mm -hmm. is doing a better job of making each character at least seem suspicious. Right. Unlike the last game, whose villain ended up being someone who wasn't even on the radar. Uh, who was it from the last game again? It was like the shopkeeper lady or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. for like no reason other than <laughs> because I guess the park ranger said she couldn't go like skimming for gold. Ah. Even though it doesn't make any sense yeah. when he would have just hired some guys to come in and do that anyway. I don't know, man. It was like weird. at least if she finds it, she can sell it at the shop to keep her numbers going. Like... Red Knot, even. Yeah. You know, being the one disturbing the local wildlife or whatever, because he wants to hear the birds and try to shoo everybody away or something. I don't know. Just... Hi, Paula. None of it makes What's any sense. On? Yeah. What can you tell me about the people working at the park during the shutdown? I frankly don't know any of my employees that Wow. Way. I'm a very hands-off kind of boss. I believe in hiring the best, then stepping aside and letting them do their best. I mean, you should at least know them, I would... Think. Well, can you tell me anything about any of them? Can you tell me anything about any of them? Hmm. Well, let's see. Ingrid Corey is extremely competent and has no problems managing the maintenance staff. Although... Although... Although what? It's just that sometimes she goes off on these strange, new-agey-type tangents and totally loses me. Anyway, there's Ooh. Harlan Bishop, very 
conscientious. Elliot Chen, very talented, but a very slow worker. And Joy Trent, very, well, Joy is hard to describe. I understand you and her father used to be business partners. I've yet to meet a man who was as terrific with people and as horrible with money as Daryl Trent was. He stayed afloat for 30 years on sheer charisma, I swear. Well, what happened to him? His bad investments caught up with him. He sold everything he could, but still wound up drowning in debt. Till one day in bankruptcy court, he just keeled over and died of a heart attack. Dang. How did Joy take it? I really couldn't tell you. She has never said one word to me about her father, ever. Hmm. I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by Rolf Kessler. Yes, Harlan told me. Go ahead and keep it, but don't lose it. I'd like to take a look at it. Kessler was apparently quite a character. The letter said he had a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Do you know if it's still there? It was probably destroyed during the renovation. At least I've never heard anyone say anything about it. If it is still there, I'm sure there's nothing in it but cobwebs and mile thick. Is it true that Captain's Cove is being Why didn't we get to ask all these governors and stuff accident? before? Why don't we have to wait until we call somebody to... Well, because Paula... Paula isn't in the park. We have, like... Well, uh, uh, sure, but I mean, like, interviewing, like, Ingrid and, uh, Trent and whatnot, and Joy and the rest of them and whatnot, why couldn't we just ask them multiple questions? I don't know. But we can't hear on the phone. I don't know, it's strange. Well, we can't ask them multiple questions, but, like, there's sometimes where it's, like, a branching path or whatever, where we're given, like, two options and we can only choose one. Mm -hmm. But there are times like this where it's given, it gives us a list of things we can say. Mm. When will the insurance company be sending someone out to investigate the roller coaster accident? Every time I call, I get the same thing. Someone will be out soon. Which is why I'd really like you to take a look, Nancy. No telling when they'll get around to it. Do you know who Tink is? Sure. Tink Obermeyer. Operates the carousel. Real protective of it. When it was vandalized, it almost broke his heart. Loves the band organ, too. Right now, he's up in Canada fishing. I'll be in touch. Good. All right. Uh, didn't we get Tink's number? I think. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Tink. This is Tink. Sorry, I'm busy fishing, which means you're gonna have to call me back. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. My number is five two three five 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 four three nine nine. If you could call me back, I'd really appreciate it. All right. Anyone else we can talk to? Nope. All right. No, we haven't been inside and on this yet, have we? No, because we had to fix the one. Right, right. right. Oh, I like how they look little, like, sharks. Yeah. This looks like one of Joy's. Because it's chewed up. Oh. Let's see real quick. Mm. Oh, I, I can't even press the button. Okay. Wait a minute. The the chewed up pencil is next to the to the emergency stop button. Uh huh. Remember the roller coaster stopped randomly. Right. Oh, I'm uh, trapped. Excuse me. Did you uh -oh. accidentally get into it somehow? Uh. Get my foot loose. I need to switch the track. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. <laughs> well, I have to know which wire is not right now. Okay. Well, now I can turn the power on and see if these are properly connected. Try, try again. Not right now. Okay. Well. Uh. uh I, don't, I don't know. That's not right. How do I know? Well, That's still not right. Okay, so swap the blue and the red around. Maybe that. Oh, you know, I think I died. That's oh. what Harlan said must have happened. I was out cold when he found me. I can't afford to have you blundering around the park, getting into accidents, Nancy. Wow. My insurance rates are high enough. In other words, what even happened? Did you get like trapped in the roller coaster somehow, or what? What? What'd you? What happened? I, I don't know. Let's load it. Let's load and uh, find out. Uh, but first. Pick up the pencil. So uh, circuits maybe or circuits. Uh, circuits. No. 
No? Oh. This might be just trial and error then. Maybe. That's kind of lame. So, literally, I was just uh, walking back, right? Mm -hmm. Ow! And it does I'm that. Trapped. <laughs> Why do you stick uh -oh. your foot underneath it, Nancy? <laughs> Yeah. To get my foot loose, I need. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Okay. Now I can turn the power. Try, try again. What? What? You were electrocuted. That's what Harlan said must. But have what'd happened. you do? I, I was out know. cold when he found me. I can't afford to have you blundering around the park, getting into accidents, Nancy. My insurance rates are high enough. In other words, you're off the case. Okay, second chance. Ow! I'm trapped! Uh-oh! To get my foot loose, I need to switch the tracks. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Turn the power on and see if these are properly connected. Try, try again. I guess maybe I have to tear the power off before I take the wires off. Oh, okay. That's not right. Uh, I don't know. I'm just. I'm... That's still not right. I. I uh... I, I have no idea. N no idea. Like, I don't have any indication on... <sighs> Still not right. On what mm, the right combination is. I better hurry! Yeah, well... Try blue at the top, red in the middle, green at the bottom. I don't know. I just... Okay. Mm -hmm. Apparently that worked. Cool. How did you know? I, random guess, honestly. I was just going to start methodically putting them in different positions. Jeez. I was going to be like, yeah, fucking blue top, red, it's green. Not. And if that didn't work, then swap the bottom two. And if that didn't work, then put the green one on top and, you know, just go through it that way. Is Nancy really not going to comment on the red handprint here? Probably paint. Or otherwise not considered important. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are we recording a full new episode, or is this no, being tacked on to? It's being tacked on. Okay. I think we were at like 17 when when it got cut by accident. Hmm. Hi, Nancy. Uh oh. Does Joy know you got one of her pencils? I hear she counts them. Actually, I found it near the roller coaster just before it almost ran me over. What? Are you all right? I'm okay, but I'm pretty sure someone started that coaster knowing full well I was standing on the track. I'll head over there and take a look as soon as I can. In the meantime, maybe you should just kick back for a while, you know? Go to the hotel, put your feet up, order a burger. I might just do that. Go get him. Burger, which sounds really good. Man. Yes. But I got pizza. It's all right. I mean... Hmm? No, go ahead. I was just... Thinking that's kind of suspicious that he wants me to do that. Was this there before? Well, I mean, he's a security guard, right? And assuming he's doing his Need job, something? it is on him to go check out the. Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the up. shutdown? Yeah. I'm not very good at socializing. I couldn't even tell you what any of them look like, quite frankly. I go to work. I work. I go home. That's pretty much my life. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch or something. It was no accident. Does this pencil I found by the tracks look familiar? That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Quick to defend herself, didn't she? Yeah. While you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. You were snooping around in here? Well, I was leaving you a note, you know, to call Elliot. An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence 
and exhibited non-random seeking behavior. That's not true. I was just trying to do the job Miss Santos asked me to do. I didn't know I was being watched. My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. Well, she took it in stride, it seems like. Yeah. Blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles, the magnificent memory machine. So, it doesn't seem pre... <laughs> he introduced himself as being as having pre-recorded messages, but... Right, or responses or something. These do not seem... Especially for what looks like it's supposed to be made out of scrap parts. Like, it definitely seems a little bit more sophisticated than that. Why does he call right. himself the Magnificent Memory Machine? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party pooping stick in the mud. So my father programmed him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long-lost memories from my childhood. That sounds fascinating. I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. Oh. Oh. Well, we were just talking about Nancy's mom earlier. Yeah. My mother died when I was really young, too. Maybe I could help you. I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is, I think it's neat that you're so gutsy. Especially since I'm so not gutsy. Oh, what the heck. Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. Huh? I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste of time. Don't give up yet. Maybe I'll turn Four up something in the course eight? of my investigation. Yeah. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Hmm. Hmm. Any luck Silver with the I'm still working on it. Need day. something? I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. Well, this isn't silver, but it, I don't know. Man, probably not. Hmm. Uh, well, anyway, let's talk to people. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Well, I don't know who passed Use your keycard thing. I, it, it was a passcode, not a thing. Hey, Nance. Uh -oh. What's going on? I know you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four bit day, what would you give me? A riddle? I love riddles. Okay, let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if 2-bit means worth a quarter, 4-bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? Captain's quarters day. Day, spelled D-A-E, as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been oh, and it probably comes in one of those like centuries. fancy it like silver uh, spoon, like silvery as a spoon. Get it? Okay. Elliot, you're a genius. Next riddle. Come on, I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. I'll let you get back to work. Rock on. Rock on. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm a strange character. I don't think I have much suspicion for him anymore, though. He's yeah, just a, he's just kind of weird. Yeah. So, order the fun day, I guess. What do yeah. you want? I'd like to order a fun day, please. 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus one official fun day souvenir spoon coming right up. 2,480 calories? Thanks a lot. I guess. Holy crap. This thing must be huge. That was oh, quick. That was so good. Huh. All right, well. Let's see if a spoon answers our riddle. The souvenir spoon of the fun day, eh? Alright. Can I give it to you directly? No, I don't probably have to talk to you. Uh, Mind if I do a little more snooping? Go ahead and look around. Excuse all the clutter. Okay. Still trying to get then why was she mad about it? <laughs> she wasn't really. 
Or why was she like, I'm supposed to be mad about it if Milton Prowler say it? Sail? Sounds? Huh, looks like stenography. Oh. It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. Hmm. Named, scratched out, whatever it is. I'm assuming probably, what was it? Wait, what do you call it? Foxfire? I don't remember. Or whatever. Firefox, something like that. Any luck? No, wait, that's a web browser. Um, do you by any chance fire. know how to read shorthand? Sorry, sure don't. I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. So he's made out of an easy bake oven, it looks okay. like? Yeah. Huh. The scan is complete. The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The captain's quarters fun day. I do remember that. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Hmm. Which one should I pick? Don't you have a picture of her? Don't you have a picture of her? You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I did that? No. My father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh. I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. You've probably forgotten everything about that time in your life because it was just too painful to remember. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I prefer that voice. Why doesn't he have that voice regularly? I don't know. Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. It's just a blank piece of paper. Oh. You and Aha! Lemon juice! juice. This game yeah. Once again, I have no idea what he's talking about. You know, some of the things your father wants you to remember may be pretty painful. Are you sure you want to go on? If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You're the greatest. Tell you what, iron or whatever? Yeah. Why are we at... I mean, not that, like, I don't... Like, like, like it's cool, I guess, that we're, like, helping her resolve her issues and whatnot, but mm -hmm. we're a detective, not a therapist. Yeah, well, if she's got to crack open the door to find the problem to begin with, well, that could be part of it. Yeah. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. Okay. Oops. I need to turn the iron on. I need, I need to put it away. <laughs> Any luck? There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. A band organ is what usually plays the music you hear when you ride a carousel. And a mouth organ is a harmonica. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel. It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. Is that all you can tell us, Miles? Is that all you can tell us, Miles? I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to think about this one. End of hint. 
Well, we have to get the roll fixed before it's we can get that yours, then. Detective. We'll probably talk to Tink about as it, I usual, guess. Yeah. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But I really we'll continue this mystery on the next episode. Mm. See you guys then. Bye. Bye.